How's it going, YouTube? We are back with our final pick for this weekend. This time we are doing the grade three withers. One and one eighth mile, 11 horse field, so a pretty large field. And our favorite right now is early voting at three to one, uh, Jose Ortiz and Chad Brown. This is another favorite that I'm probably gonna fade. Um, not because I don't think this horse has the talent. Um, first time out winner, you know, effort was decent enough, but probably didn't have to do more than that. And uh, on the figures, you know, a, a, a half decent improvement. You know, if this horse improves seven or eight figures or speed figures up, um, he could easily win this race. The competition, this one isn't as, you know, as greedy, I don't think, as in the last race for, sorry, in the last race for the Holy Bowl. So this is a little bit of a softer field, but there's no real standout. Um, in terms of pace, I believe that um, Constitution Lawyer will go out there as well as uh, Core Voicier. Excuse me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I believe those two are going to go to the front, especially Constitution Lawyer being on that rail. Uh, with 11 horses, you need to get out there quick. Uh, Constitution Lawyer has the post to do it and save ground. I just don't know. For, for me, it's going to be really how good and how much does early voting improve. Um, he has a trainer to do it everything that he could possibly can to you know get himself in into the derby you know what i mean chad brown is one of the best trainers in the world so you know he has the right connections ortiz and brown to get there it's just i'm gonna have personally i'm gonna have a wait and see attitude because i don't know enough about this horse i haven't seen his um his first performance i don't know how much he was asked i don't know what the the lengths were when uh, on his win so i'm gonna go somewhere else here I'm going to take Constitution Lawyer at 7-2 to two on the rail. I just think that that rail draw with a horse that has some pretty decent pace, you know, it's a trip that that's going to save ground, even if uh, Corvacier is a little bit quicker on the front end. I just think that there's a saving ground trip for, for Constitution Lawyer on that rail. Um, Jose Lascano is a pretty serviceable jockey himself. Don't know enough about Handle to really comment on it, but I just think that that's a pretty good... A pretty good um, route, especially with the seven to two value. I expect early voting to drift lower than three to one, which is a price that I'm not willing to to put in. So, at uh, seven to two, I think Constitution Lawyer is a good play. Um, in terms of you know the the miners in this race, the third and fourth, it's kind of all over the place. I don't I don't really see too too much there for me to go. Yeah, that's you know those are the two horses. So I'm gonna try to give value here. I'm gonna I'm gonna fade. The nine again, the favorite. I'm gonna go Constitution Lawyer on top, then Gilded Age, then No Need to Worry, then Early Voting. Um, I would recommend highly that you guys use Early Voting in you know Exactus trifectas as well as in Win Bets because you know we don't I don't know how talented this horse really is. I'm just going based of what I've seen so far. What have I seen? And what I've seen is Constitutional Lawyer took a really big step up in his last time out. He looked like he put the pieces together and figured it out. Um, that's what we're banking on here, that he shows more improvement in this race and he puts in a good effort. If early voting, you know, improves as well enough to beat Constitutional Lawyer and every other horse in this field, we'll tip our hat to him. And it is what it is, that's racing. And that's gonna do it for this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe, comment other races you'd like to see done in the future, as well as your picks, and I'll see you guys next time.